đến với chương trình ACTV của Kiến Việt.net Hôm nay chúng tôi hân hạnh mời đến trường quay uh, Mr. Yoshiyaru Tsukamoto uh, từ văn phòng Bovo Đây là một tiên tuổi rất nổi tiếng ở uh, châu Âu và Nhật Bản và Kiến Việt rất vinh hạnh để được mời ông uh, tham gia cái chương trình phỏng vấn ngày hôm nay Thank you Mr. Yoshiyaru Tsukamoto uh, to join our interview today mm. We are very happy to to invite you to our interview, mm. and uh, we would like to uh, have a chance uh, to talk with mm. you and to uh, have a chance to uh, got your uh, sharing mm. about your life, your work uh, in this interview. Mm. And uh, do you want to talk to Kinh uh, Việt audience uh, uh, to say something to Kinh Việt audience? Uh, audience. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Um, hello. This is Yoshiharu Tsukamoto from Atwe Bawa. And I'm from Tokyo. I'm based in Tokyo and teaching at the Tokyo Institute of Technology. This is first time for me to visit Vietnam in my life. So, and then I just arrived at Hanoi. So, please don't ask me about Hanoi. <laughs> the detail. <laughs> okay, uh, this is uh, first, our first question. Uh, the name of the atelier is Bowo. Mm. Mm. So, what does it mean? Uh, and uh, is it a musical band or new sound related to Bauhaus? I yeah. Uh, I knew there are several similar s sound uh, a name as a sound. And uh, of course, Bauhaus was um, something we recognized from the beginning. But actually, we just simply called us Atri Bauhaus since we, um, since we like dogs. Yeah, and um, we were. Um, Yeah, when we started the, our team at Bauer in 1992, uh, my partner Momoyo's family raised one dog, and, uh, and uh, we were very much impressed by this dog. And then, so, so because why we were, it's a kind of respect to this dog. And um, and then we call ourselves Bow Wow. So, oh. yeah. very interesting uh, information. <laughs> <laughs> uh, start uh, from the love of pet. Right? Uh, so the media thinks that Bow Wow is popular for vernacular architecture, mm. culture aspect, and small buildings in a modern urban context. Mm. So, what is your opinion? Opinion of what? About the Media ah, media. Yeah. Mm, yeah, it's uh, there are always time difference between what we are really focusing on now and the media recognize ourselves. And so I know this this is n this always happens. So, but basically, but this uh, understanding is not wrong. We are interested in vernacular architecture. We worked a lot uh, on small house design in the densely built uh, uh, environment in Tokyo. And uh, we did the many study, urban research, field work in, uh, in the city or in the farming area, and fishing, fishermen's villages mountains and uh, uh, we also designed several public space and um, did many experimental public space under the framework of art exhibitions and called micro public space and yeah so in that sense our interest is very close to the Uh, special practice by people okay. and uh, the 
kind of um, uh, as a as a kind of life livelihood, which is produced in each places with uh, some sort of arc, uh, construction method and materials and also behavior of the people. So, I yeah, it's um, yeah those how to say uh, segments which you mentioned. Yes. As, as somehow the important segment to grasp those uh, to to develop our interest. So yeah, that's. So uh, this generally is the depend on the context you change or approaching. Uh, of course, but uh, but mainly we are interested in. Uh, how our life is surrounded by uh, many, how do you say, surrounded by different type of network, and um, some networks are um, still quite are close to the. Es almost ethnographical network, and but this, and, and then other aspects are, are other parts are connected with more industrialized society network. But the, actually, we are living in a quite hybrid conditions in that sense, and um, and then the the main question question is where we are and what we are doing and how we are living uh, in which kind of living uh, in which kind of a livelihood we are living in and um, so so architecture is quite important the means to think about and to intervene or reframing or mm, the quality of uh, livelihood, ecology of livelihood. And um, so I, 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 my, our interest is to, to dedicate uh, redefining uh, the ecology of livelihood today. And uh, Bobo has been known with the concept of pet architecture, mm. uh, behaviorology, mm. micro public space, mm. uh, thing transformation. So, what is the most interesting topic uh, between these things? Oh, as I mentioned, the, all those are quite important segments to execute certain. Uh, studies or kind of design practice or developing the architectural thoughts and um, mm, so th it's a uh, uh, difficult to say what is the most important but maybe behaviorology is a uh, most core ideas to the to unify our different interest into one. Mm. Can you explain more about uh, behaviorology? Mm. Behavior can be the central knowledge about the relationship among human life, nature, mm. and view in private. Behaviorology is uh, <coughs> um, our, it's, uh, our concept, our philosophy. Um, about architecture, about city, about public space, so oh, everything what we work, and uh, at the same time it's um, quite useful mm, method to investigate our livelihood, ecology of livelihood, and. Um, Basically, in architecture design, there are three um, important behavior 
which all are coexisting in same project, same building. The first one is, is natural behavior, such as light and wind and heat and humidity and yeah. shadows and so <coughs> they all those natural element uh, behave based on the natural principle and um, so for example if this the sun rise and then the window gets the sunlight from and then the room temperature rise up yeah. in few hours and then if the light is uh, if the air is heated then they they try to go up uh, they try to go up and then create a kind of um, air stream circulation. circulation and if you have a small window on the bottom and then sh shaded area and w high window on top and then you can create a kind of uh, gravity ventilation and, um, and they are all about the behavior of the natural elements and um, sometimes the you know, condensation on the glass wall can be also considered as uh, uh, behavior of the humidity on the very cold surface of the glass yeah and um, so they are uh, yeah building arch designing architecture uh, we have to guide those natural behavior to perform in a pleasant and delightful manner for for us and people also behave uh, uh, according to the uh, hab habit, uh, which is a very cultural um, thing. Mm. 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 Yeah, so uh, if you know behaviorology, or if you apply the, the, the behaviorology, uh, in architectural design, you can diversify the considerations on certain um, different on different uh, agents uh, and uh, at least uh, nature and human and building itself. And it's uh, quite important because uh, design. What is design? Design is a kind of. A, um, create a kind of balance between different constellations so or overlaying different constellations so bringing many different constellations in one place and to define one single piece I think that this is quite important to think uh, for design so this is what design what design is doing and uh, so in that sense um, the diversity of consideration is uh, very important to make your design better and good, more thoughtful. And um, so behaviorology can really help to diversify the, con the, uh, the, the channel of considerations in your architectural design. Ah, and then another thing, the behavior is something you can't really monopolize. Behavior is everywhere, and then the, 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 it's, a it's a kind of nature which is already embedded in different agents. So the light, wind, heat, they all have their own behavior, and we can't really change this nature. And then human behavior, which is established through the through the long history in each country, each community, and it is uh, not all owned by one single person. It's shared with, among others and uh, among the, the members of this community or, or, or these groups. And so it is, um, and then also building 
behavior, yeah, for example, typology of the building, uh, or the, the, the design of the windows in each uh, city, uh, the design of the loggia or balconies in, the, in each city, they are not uh, owned by one single person. It's all shared and then uh, by different buildings, different owners. So it's a kind of common resources which anyone can access, actually. And um, this is, um, yeah, behave... Sorry. So it, I think nowadays it's uh, very important to think about this share, sh 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 share, shareability of uh, all common resources um, which people can access and utilize and develop together uh, rather than just uh, holding some objects uh, on, on, the, uh, on, the, on each one's uh, dispositions. Yeah. And um, what is that? Yeah, behavior. Ah, and then behavior, behavior is um, you is uh, since it is shared already, uh, and then it's embedded in the, the 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 place and also the people who live there. And uh, also, you don't need to 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 bring totally new things. You can start from working with those resources, and I think it's. Uh, m it's quite important to make a, a liaison, connection between today and past, and mm. and uh, today and uh, future. Uh, yeah, future. Yeah, it's a kind of relay. Yeah. So our role is to relay those uh, uh, legacies or uh, the things from the past to the future, and then. I think behavior is something really helpful to do it. Yeah. So you made me uh, uh, think about the bad architecture the mm. theory from uh, the book. Mm. Because the uh, last time when I read it, I asked, uh, I see that you do research on uh, Tokyo urban context. Mm. And you, you found some proof, found some. Some, some kind of, uh, I, th I see the continuous between the behaviorology and the previous uh, mm -hmm. uh, theory. Oh, of course, the architecture is a kind of phenomena which you can observe in, in Tokyo. Yeah. It's extremely tiny buildings yeah. which is produced by the transformation of the city, yeah. like uh, enlargement of the street, cut the front part of the property and then leave tiny property in front of the other building or the enlargement of the crossing create an extremely tiny triangle corner or intervention of a new road into old street pattern create a kind of a triangular shape buildings by this shift or the shift of the angle of the street and also the, the encounter of the street which wants to become uh, perpendicular and uh, the train tracks or rivers which wants to curve uh, always produce uh, leftover space between two geometry but and uh, those leftover space we call gap space are fully utilized by ex by specific use uh, which fits to that kind of size, yeah. and then, and then it's a, uh, it's very funny. It always has funny shape and uh, and very how to say friendly because it's uh, extremely tiny, and then you can really see how the user customize that kind of building by their uh, necessity needs, and uh, so it's a uh, the it's. It's still building, but uh, very close to the human 
body and yeah. human uh, uh, activity. And uh, uh, we we started pet architecture guidebook, uh, pet the observing pet architecture uh, um, in the process of uh, um, making made in Tokyo, and uh, actually in made in Tokyo there is one the first pet architecture as uh, one of the made in Tokyo building and um, and so but the, we found made in Tokyo is uh, about uh, hybrid building yes. very strange hybridization of building and civil engineering structures and or utilization of uh, adjacent environment for certain specific use and so it's a very hybrid which go beyond the uh, conventional definition of uh, what is the architecture and um, s s but the and and then within this uh, study research we found extremely tiny tiny buildings a lot in the city so we found it could be another framework to investigate the city of Tokyo and um, uh, yeah uh, s s and then I think in both cases, made in Tokyo and the pet architecture guidebook, the the central idea is how to introduce the space which is produced by uh, through the uh, practice by, by people, yeah. not by the Professor. architect, and not by professionals, and not by industries, yeah. and. Um, I, I'm I'm very interested in this. Yeah, we can say informality of architecture, or or it, this kind of um, yeah, it's a kind of dialect uh, materialization of uh, uh, ecology of livelihood uh, without uh, paying too much attention to make it as architecture uh, uh, in. Yeah, but um, <coughs> but I think it's uh, quite direct and uh, also critical to what arch what architects have produced uh, during 20th century. So I'm uh, we were very interested in that. and then uh, yeah those yeah pet architecture and made in Tokyo yeah it's a kind of a collection of. Uh, unique behavior of the buildings in the city. And then behind those behavior we can read the uh, uh, practice of people and uh, some very, I say, purposeful necessity to make things um, encounter in an unconventional manner. Uh, so it is not a rational solution, but a very Purpose-wise, it's really relevant solution. For example, and um, I, I'm very, I'm very much excited. We are very much excited to to see how city of Tokyo is made from those type of buildings, the the building which is uh, uh, not always rational, but uh, uh, purpose-wise very relevant and direct. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. And uh, this is uh, sweet approaching sweet, uh, uh, this uh, approaching is uh, uh, you must uh, follow with uh, in your design and there are a lot of buildings that you design and build uh, following the behavior uh, mm. and so uh, among of the your works with building you, you want to introduce to uh, yes. it's a, we design already uh, almost uh, 80, 90 buildings, so it's quite diffi difficult to say. Uh, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> because uh, um, my intention is that uh, mm. we want to know ex uh, what building is that you, for, for example, for the beginning, uh, you, when you apply the Z theory mm. and you to experience. No, it's uh, from the beginning. Oh. Actually, I didn't have the world behaviorology from the beginning. Oh. It start yeah uh, around 2007 or six. Mm. I start to 
use the word behaviorology. And, um, but um, uh, we started, the, I started my design practice from 1992, 19, no, 1990. But at that moment, I have already interest, I, I, I had a great, I had a, a strong interest on behavior of things. Behavior of human beings, behavior of uh, nature, behavior of buildings, which is an uh, uh, architectural language or repetitive architectural language in, in certain place or typologies. Uh, so, but um, gradually I realized that behind those interests there is the same, uh, some, in, um, you, yeah, mm, there is a shared uh, concept, which is behavior. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, so people who discuss about uh, okay, the um, uh, thermal environment of the building, they just talk about uh, how to reduce the CO two and and uh, how to. Uh, make a uh, window more uh, insulated, how to make a uh, roof and uh, uh, wall more uh, perform uh, higher uh, uh, to, uh, yeah, to perform better in terms of uh, some uh, performance. And they don't talk about so much about uh, type typologies. Mm -hmm. Typology is uh, more the interest of typology is how to uh, make a connection between arch architecture, form of architecture, and uh, morphology of the city. Mm -hmm. And um, th it is quite also I important to think about some uh, performance. But uh, the people who um, specialize uh, the building some some performance. Mm -hmm. They don't talk about typologies, mm -hmm. and but people uh, in, who are interested in typology, they are more interested in urbanism and uh, history of the city and uh, yeah, very different. Yeah. And uh, and also people who discuss program of yeah. the building, yeah. they discuss a lot about activities of people and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But uh, they don't talk so much about typologies and uh, uh, thermal performance. So um, it's a. Uh, I, I, I I I was very I was interested in all those type of all these uh, discussions are quite interesting for me. But uh, but I I also found that uh, once you start discussing this. You can't discuss this, and then discuss. You can't discuss this. So it's, uh, uh, but I think it's it's not good, no? because uh, architecture and city is very complex, and uh, it should be more comprehensive, and uh, more yeah. So we need the the theory or logic to deal with all these different topics and constellations, and then behavior is actually center. Yeah, something in the middle. So it's a central idea to deal with all this these type of discussion. Now uh, it looks like you change the view, point of view, and after you change the point of view, you uh, I I can understand. Uh, no, I didn't change the point of view. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, uh, because you you mentioned that you had many sides, mm. and between if someone follow any side, mm. people can. Uh, just as a side with their, their side, mm. and then that mean uh, by behavior, uh, mm. behavior theology, mm. yeah, you can see different. You can mm. go up or you can down. You mm. can look in mm. different way mm. and to see things change, mm. and you try to combine everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, one 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 thing is um, I am very interesting in the. Uh, your concept of uh, space, because mm. uh, representative of space and space of representative. 
Uh huh. Yeah. The last time I, I have read about it. The space of representation and uh, yeah, yeah. representation of space yeah. and space uh, practice of space. Yeah. Yeah, practice. No, no, this is Andy Lefebvre, oh. the f French philosopher yeah. who wrote um, in his book um, Production of Space. Oh. Those three concepts of space are discussed. And um, the space of representation is um, it's a, like a drawing the, it's a, the architecture space which is designed by architect or specialist professionals using the drawings and models and so which is a kind of formal way to uh, to construct the space. Yes. And um, representation of space is the quality of space which is emerged, uh, accumulated by by the um, constant um, appropriation by someone else, someone, some some group of people or some individual. Uh, if someone use some people, some group of people use um, certain area, certain space, uh, he called this appropriation. And then the, the, the another layer of the quality of space is added on, or added on 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 the on the on the space. And um, but um, so these two. Uh, concept of space is quite uh, um, how to say uh, important, but uh, it, 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 it's okay. not necessarily opposite. But uh, since uh, the the one which is the, the people behind it, yeah. behind the, uh -huh. these two different space are quite different, mm -hmm. so the space of representation is. Uh, behind space of representation, there is professionals, and uh, behind the uh, representation of space, there is users, yeah. inhabitants. And uh, in the modern era, so the, this division between professionals and the inhabitants and users became extremely sharp and uh, 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 no, no. It's it's no, no, no. Modern, modern, modern era really divide oh, the world, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the construction into two sides. Yes. Yeah. One is the professionals, one the other is uh, users or customers or mm. uh, inhabitants. Mm. Yeah. And then, since uh, the the they are uh, categorized as opposed party in the society, so these two concepts always um, doesn't match and it's, 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 it's appears as a kind of opposed concept. But um, I think actually it's uh, two sides of the same thing, so it's not necessary to, be, to make them uh, opposed. And uh, so in order to in order to resolve this uh, conflict or oppos opposition between uh, these two concepts, uh, Lefebvre established the third position, third uh, concept, which is a practice of space, special practice. And um, s special practice needs both uh, space of representation and uh, representation of space. They both need space. Actually, needs professionals and uh, and users and inhabitants to appear in our society. So, and, and, and I think the idea of a special practice is is uh, is try to create a kind of empty um, uh, the emptiness of the subjectivity about space. So it sounds like uh, space itself wants to appear in the society. Yeah. So this is a uh, practice of space. 
And um, so by introducing this practice of space, she can avoid, uh, uh, Henri Lefebvre uh, proposed to avoid the, the, the direct opposition between two concepts and then create a kind of, a, um, it's start to rotate um, together as a, the, as um, I don't know how to say. Uh, yeah, it's um, no, it's the three things together to rotate. Yeah, uh, like I don't remember. Okay. Yeah. And Torilogy uh, or something. I don't know. Yeah, how to say. Yeah. So uh, the last question. Yeah. So if possible, what would you like to say about your life partner? Miss uh, Momoyo Kajima. Mm. It uh, sees the center of connection between your, you and the architecture of life and nature. Maybe once she visited, but, but uh, we really like to, 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 uh, to do something for the very, uh, this typology of, uh, how do you say, tube house? I don't know. Very, very unique typology. I saw many uh, today also yeah. in Hanoi. Yeah. The very, very narrow and deep building. Three, four stories high and and then it's a it's almost kitsch and uh, pastish and uh, yeah, yeah. but um but then this is a bit the typology which really create the uh, uh, the city of uh, Hanoi. Yeah. So it's a main ingredient of the city. So I think there are s many uh, intelligence or also in, in these buildings, in this typology. So I, I really like to rediscover the, this uh, intelligence of a tube house. Is it tube house? Tube house. Oh, okay. So please uh, 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 call Bow Wow to to ask some, to do, to give us some commission mm. to redesign the tube house. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's very interesting because, uh, you know, because uh, your behavior is uh, from Japan. And uh, maybe you, when you come to Vietnam, you have commission in Vietnam, mm. and you will find out some different, different behavior. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah our method is more, it's, it, we are quite close to the ethnographer mm -hmm. or anthropologist. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, of course we are designer, but the design can be very uh, sharp, mm -hmm. very useful means to investigate uh, ethnography and uh, anthropology. And uh, I'm very interested in to utilize architecture mm -hmm. to re -disco discovering mm -hmm. that kind of uh, um, the wow. n intelligence and knowledge of the people from the place, yeah? yes. and m most of the case, architecture is a kind of a kind of container of the intelligence. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, another thing is uh, the last thing mm. I want to know is uh, so because uh, you start from so so atelier from the pet from your pet, right? Mm. The name the atelier, and then you realize you love if you fall in love with the small. Uh, small house. Mm. Uh, after you do the research, we in the mid in Tokyo and uh, the bad architecture, mm. and then you develop the behavior through the theology. Mm. And I see that there is a small trait from the beginning until now. Mm. Is this? Uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah. Maybe you'd better to check another book, commonalities. But uh, it's only available in Japan, Japanese. But there are, uh, how to say, it's about uh, public space, uh, and there are investigation. Uh, in this book, uh, we investigated the the different uh, public space uh, in in the world, and uh, it's not a very formal public space, but it's a op the the open space in the city appropriated by the people's behavior and people customize that space and then make, transform it for their own uh, open space in the city. So you can really meet the, um, 
real people who are responsible mm. on maintaining that place and also driving that space and uh, creating uh, our liveliness of that uh, space. Mm. And um, uh, those type of public spaces are most uh, appreciated. Mm. And um, I really like, yeah, some of our work are uh, now uh, m moving into that direction. Yeah. yeah. I, see. I, I see that's a behavior. That, mm. that means you're listening to yeah. life. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and that means you uh, have to accept nature. Yeah. Accept it. And sometimes I realize, uh, uh, suddenly I realize uh, there are between one and all. Mm. You find something in the middle, mm. the gray. Yeah. I, I know that the Japanese uh, love gray uh, hmm? layer. Uh, gray color. Gray color. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> it's, uh, the behavior is, uh, is, uh, is a very strong concept to grasp things without uh, making a uh, uh, footprint. No, no, we, we are dividing things into two, like uh, black and white. Yeah, yeah. So you just grasp in the middle. And then, but the, this is already connected with many different things. So you can go this way, this way, this way. And it's a very important, yeah. And, um, what is it? Ah, then, um, ah, I forgot. Okay, I forget what I wanted to say. That's what we've done. Yeah. And uh, uh, one more thing, maybe in the future I want to translate your book. Oh, okay, please, and please. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, please keep in touch, and uh, we want uh, the next time we will, we will write something. I okay. want an email about this thing. Okay. Yeah. I I, I love the idea and uh, the concept. And the okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, thank you yeah. for joining today. And yeah. Thank you very much. I hope to see you in the future. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Come on with the. Yoshiharu Tsukamoto uh, the, đã tham dự cái, cái buổi phỏng vấn ngày hôm nay và hẹn gặp lại các bạn ở chương trình sau. Thank you. Thank you.